Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make this cube. It is made of three interlocking sections. They're all identical. And I got this idea earlier today when I saw this video by Oscar Puzzle. And he goes and shows you how it works and everything. I had seen this before and this brought it back to my mind. So I went to see if there was any STLs, and I did find this one by Eric Jew. And it seemed pretty cool. It kind of showed a basic idea of how to make it. So I wanted to see if I could model it for myself. Once again, we're going to be using this helix around a 3D curve add-in. So let's get started. Make a new design. Go on and make a cube. We'll do 55 by 55 by 55. So that should already be on the origin point. Go on and select our cube and rotate it 45 degrees then we'll rotate it again not that way this way and this is kind of tricky to get it directly up and down what I found that it needs to be is 54.7356 and I found that that made it um, enough directly up and down for us not to run into issues later so once you have your cube on its point we go in and make a vertical line the height of the cube and that will be our guide for our helixes. So again, S helix. All right, if you haven't started the plugin, you'll need to go over to add-ins, helix, run, and then it should show up for you. Ah, see it's in my shortcut bar now. So radius, it uh, doesn't matter. We just want it bigger than the widest point. So we'll do five. We only want one cycle. Start angle at zero. And we have our center line selected. So that's one. Now we want to make a, another one. And again, five. And this time we want to make it at with a start angle of 120. So we're going to add 120 each time. That way we'll get 360. That's two. And our third one. Do 240. Radius of five. And there's number three. So now that we have all of these we need to go and make another base sketch i'm going to go on it and hide this for right now and you're going to want to angle it slightly just so you can see these dots easier um, so i'm going to make a rectangle and you want to start with the one that lines up on the axis. So we'll just make it something like that. And we'll go on and throw a line down the middle of it. And we'll make that a construction line. Just so we have something to measure off of. And I'm going to go on and drag this out a bit. 
just to make sure that it extends past the edge of our cube. So measure between there and set your tolerance because the width of this line is what we're going to cut out of the cube. So say you want a 0.4 millimeter tolerance. You can do it like that. And then if you we want to measure from, oh, let's zoom in here. We want to measure from that line to our center line and we'll do that 0.2. There, now we should be lined up along our center line. And you want to zoom in here all the way. Go in and throw a line. We want each one of the uh, inner angle here to be 120. So I'm just going to throw the line first and we'll do the angle next. So since it's going to our center line, I want that to be 60 degrees. 60 plus 60 is 120. So we'll take this and mirror it along that center line. Nope, mirror this, that, along the center line. There we have it. And we will trim out these extra little bits that we no longer need. Then you're going to want to do a circular pattern. Select all of that. Center point will be our center point, and it automatically goes to three. And there we have it. These should line up with each of your points of your helixes that are on the base plane. As you can see, they do. So now we need to do some sweeps. I'm going to turn on the cube so we can see how it all interacts. So we'll create a sweep. That's our profile. We want to sweep with a guide rail and a path. Our path will be our center line. Our guide rail will be the helix that starts with it. We don't want to do a cut, we want to do a new body for now. Okay, and then we repeat that. You might need to show your sketch again if it hides it. So, profile, path, and guide. New body. And repeat. Nope. Model. Sweep. Profile. Get our path and our guide. New body. All right. So these are what we're going to use to cut our cube into those pieces. So you want to select those bodies that you made. Select the bodies that you made, and you want to combine. They'll be under Modify, Combine, and we'll just join them right there. And then you want to go to Modify, Split Body. The cube is the body we're splitting, and Body 2, all of our helixes combined, is what we're going to use to split it. It's giving an error. It looks like they don't all quite line up. But appear I chose the wrong center line on some of our splines. So let's go back and fix those real fast.
There we go. They should all touch like that on top. So now we can go back and combine. And then we want to split body, that body with these. There we go. So now we can go on and hide. And there, that's about it. You have made your tri split cube. You can take these and turn them into components if you want to move them around a little bit. You can see how it all works. If you want to verify that what you did does in fact work, let's go on and put those back. We will just hide two of these. And it'll make a circular pattern with just the one of them, which is bodies. Select the body. The axis is going to be that center line. It'll automatically go to three. And there you go. So one of them is exactly the same as all the rest. I'm printing one off right now. Still got about an hour left, but once it's done, I'll show you how it turned out. I hope it slides together well. Now that is pretty tight. Like literally, my tolerances were way too low and this was a bear to get together. I'm gonna try and get it apart so I can show you the individual pieces. There you go. Here are the three individual pieces. I'll try to show you how to put it together, but I'm kind of working with, you know, only two hands here. So. so, well, the first two go together pretty easy once you figure out the orientation of them. There. There. So. And this third piece, I found if you lay it kind of in there, and it's got this really weird motion where it corkscrews in. And yeah, just turn those three funky shapes into a cube. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.